Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today we are looking at mercy. Finishing well and strong by the mercies of God. Today we are looking at the mercy of God. Finishing well and strong by the mercy of God. By the mercies of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Quickly, let's begin to thank God for the privilege to pray today. To see another day. To see another day. To finish this year 2023 well and strong. And to start 2024 well and strong. Give God praise. Give Him the glory. Give Him honor and adoration. Magnify the name of Jesus. Glorify Him. There is none like our God. There is none to be compared to Him. The there is none like Jesus. Give God the praise. Give God the glory. Thank Him for life. Thank Him for mercy. Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you praise. Thank Him for mercy. Give Him praise for mercy. Thank Him for mercy. Give Him praise for mercy. Zandosika yada braga yada bahia. Rekadega yada braga yada braga bahia. Bronco dozogo yada braga bahia. Give God praise for mercy. Thank Him for mercy. Glorify him for the mercies of God upon your life. Give him thanks and praise that you are alive. Barrio Shakala Gayada Brahia. It is the Lord that have made it possible for you to be alive. Share this video. Invite your friends. It is God that have made it possible for you to be alive. Give him praise and glory. Give him honor. Thank God that you made it to a brand new day. That you are here today, it is the doing of the Lord. That you are here today, it is the hand of the Lord. That you are here today, it is the blessings of the Lord. That you are here today, it is the grace of God. Give God thanks. Give God praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Today we are looking at finishing well and strong by the mercies of God. By the mercy of God. What is mercy? It means forgiveness. To have mercy on it, it means forgiveness. What is mercy? It means to withhold punishment. To take away punishment from you. That is, you were supposed to be punished from it, but mercy say no. Mercy stop the punishment. The first scripture we are going to be looking at in, in the book of Matthew is in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 7 the book of Matthew the 5 chapter verse 7 Matthew chapter 5 verse 7 it says, blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy that is to say blessed are those who forgive as they go into the new year who forgive as they round up 2023, who withhold punishment. Someone is wrong. You are supposed to punish them, but you say, no, I leave it in the hand of God. I leave it in the hand of God. He said, blessed are those people. God will also give them mercy. The thing that they are supposed to be punished for, they will not be punished for it. By the mercies of God. What is mercy? It means compassion. A language I pray for someone today uh, that is hearing the sound of my voice. You will finish this year with mercy, my God. You will start 2024 with mercy. You will finish 2023 by the mercies of God. You will start 2024 by the mercies of God. I declare mercy will go before you. Mercy will speak for you. Every area you were supposed to be punished, you were supposed to be attacked. The mercies of God cancels it now. 
every area you were supposed to see punishment by the mercies of God they are cancelled right now in the name of Jesus mercy say no to your punishment wherever the enemy throws an attack against you they say you are guilty but mercy cancel the judgment mercy cancel the judgment in your favor one time they caught a woman in the act of adultery and they brought the woman before Jesus they said the law of Moses say this woman must be stoned to death because she was caught in the act of adultery Jesus the mercy himself mercy himself was there Jesus said today if any have not sinned among you let him cast the first stone the Bible said they dropped their, their, their stones and they went home everyone why because they understood that they were living by mercy they understood that they were living by the mercies of God and even every one of them there deserve punishment for one thing or the other they, were done, they have done that if judgment should arose that day no one of them there would have been free if one of them would have lifted stone against that woman Jesus would have called for judgment on them and begin to unveil their sins upon them but mercy cancel the judgment despite the law of Moses mercy cancel the decrees it is mercy that cancel written laws <laughs> oh it is mercy that cancels written laws I don't know what they have written against you but mercy say no <laughs> mercy cancel verdict that is forgiveness and the withholding of punishment today I pray every laws of man that have been written against you wherever they have written papers against you documents against you by the mercies of God it is cancelled by fire by the mercies of God it is cancelled in the name of Jesus by the mercies of God it is cancelled in the name of Jesus mercy cancels laws blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy today I declare obtain mercy today I declare receive mercy that issue they are dragging you all about they say they say you are you are guilty yes they say you you did it yes but the mercies of God will exonerate you the mercies of God will exonerate you by mercy you will come out ah who is the merciful who is the man that received mercy the man that asked for forgiveness oh lord i did it forgive me mercy shall speak for him who is the man that received mercy the man that asked for forgiveness that cried to god and said god yes this thing is done but let it not be against me I call on your mercy. Today, I pronounce mercy upon you. Today, I pronounce mercy upon your household. Today, I pronounce mercy upon your marriage. Today, I pronounce mercy upon your children. Today, I pronounce mercy upon your finances. Today, I pronounce mercy upon your job. Today, I pronounce mercy upon your marriage. In the name of Jesus. In Psalm 1, number 2, Psalm 145, verse 8, the Bible said, The Lord is compassionate. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. I told you mercy means to have compassion. Mercy means to have compassion. He said the Lord is compassionate. That means God is a God of mercy. He feels for people. He feels the pains of people. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger. He's slow to anger and rich in love. Mercy will bring you to a place where you will not judge people quickly. Mercy will bring you to a place where you will not condemn people immediately, a place of no condemnation. Mercy brings you to a place where you condemn no one immediately. We are condemnation is cancelled. Today I pray mercy will come upon you. The God of mercy shall be your God. I pray receive mercy. I pray receive mercy. Today I speak mercy upon my life. I speak mercy upon your life. Open your mouth and say mercy. Open your mouth and declare mercy. Open your mouth and speak the message of God. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, I declare receive mercy. I speak today, receive mercy. I declare receive mercy. 
mercy will speak for you as you finish this year whoever is condemning you left right and center let mercy answer them let mercy cancel the condemnation in the name of Jesus the Bible said now therefore no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus mercy is a cancellation of condemnation today by the compassionate mercy of God receive divine cancellations everything your enemies are pronounced against you by mercy they are cancelled Maga Yadaba here you will start 2024 with the mercies of God upon your life you finish 2023 by the mercies of God upon your life he said the Lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love I pray for you today wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice men have condemned you men have judged you mercy will cancel that condemnation mercy will cancel that condemnation receive the messages of God Shagadaba here. Receive the mercies of God. It is mercy that withhold punishment. It is mercy that withhold punishment. It is mercy that withhold judgment. Today, wherever men have judged you wrongly, today, by mercy shall be reversed. By the mercies of God, it is reversed. By the mercies of God, it is reversed. In the name of Jesus. Number three is in Luke chapter 36, verse it's in Luke chapter 6 verse 36 number 3 is in Luke chapter 6 verse 36 a book of Luke the 6th chapter verse 36 number 3 is in the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 36 the Bible says imitate God in his mercifulness imitate God in his mercifulness be merciful just as your father is merciful he said God is a God of mercy you ought to be a merciful person you ought to be the person that withhold punishment you ought to be the person that forgive you ought to be the person that have compassion he said in Luke chapter 6 verse 36 he said imitate God in his mercifulness be merciful just as your father is merciful I pray for you today by the power of the Holy Ghost receive mercy may your lifestyle become mercy may you finish this year by mercy may you start 2024 by mercy Rakoli here Lord I receive your mercy somebody declare it on her in character I receive mercy in behavior I receive mercy one of the signs of a true man of God one of the signs of the true child of God is the things that he forgives the things that he forgives is a sign that is a man that lives with the mercies of God that have mercy in his life that shows mercy to others the things that he forgives if you see the things I have forgiven things I have let go things I would have reacted on that if it was an unbeliever they will kill that person and say how can you do this to me but I will put mercy at the front I will still let mercy ride on the wings today. I prophesy, whoever that want to take your life, whoever that is speaking against you, whoever that is laying curses at you today, mercy shall reverse them in the name of Jesus. The mercies of God reverse them in the name of Jesus. The mercies of God reverse them in the name of Jesus. I declare mercy will speak for you. I declare mercy will work for you. Open your mouth and say, Lord, give me mercy. Put your mercy in my life. Lord, your mercy, lay your hands on your head and call on the mercies of God. Lord, your mercy, Marco Jagada Bahia, Ripo Rogo Dozo Yerbehia. Lord, I receive mercy on every side. Let mercy speak for me in the day. Let me mercy speak for me in the afternoon let mercy speak for me in the evening let mercy speak for me in the night let mercy speak for me at all times lord i receive your mercy 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 let your mercy, O oh God, rest upon me. Lord, I receive your mercy. 
Lord, I receive your mercy. In Psalm 145, verse 9, he said, The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. Psalm 145, verse 9. The Lord is good to all. To all. He has compassion to everybody. That means he has a level of mercy on everybody. To all that he has made. Today, the mercies of God will be upon you. That is to say you are qualified to have mercy. That is to say you are qualified for mercy. He said he has compassion on all he has made. That is to say you are qualified to have the mercies of God. Since he has compassion on you, he has mercy on you, he shows kindness towards you, he will throw evil from you, he pours his love for you. You are qualified for his mercy. Today I pray, may mercy enter into your business. May mercy be upon your house. May mercy rest on your family. May mercy rest on your job. May May mercy rest on you. I speak mercy upon you by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In Ephesians chapter 5, if you read verse 2, in Ephesians, in Ephesians number 5, excuse me, number 5, number 5, Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 4 to 5. Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 4 to 5. He said he's rich in mercy. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 to 5. He said he is rich in mercy. Share this video. Everybody invite your friends. He is rich in mercy. But because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy made us alive with Christ. Even when we were dead in transgression, it is by his grace. It is by, it is by grace you have been saved. He said, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, he is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we are dead in transgression. He says, so God, mercy cancels the dead verdict against you. God is rich in mercy. Therefore, his mercies cancel death verdict against you. Wherever they are pronounced a death verdict against your life, mercy cancel it. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you will not die. You will see 2024. You will not die before the end of this year. You will see 2024 in the name of Jesus. I break the hand of the wicked. I break demonic enterprise. I break satanic enterprise. I break evil powers. I break witchcraft powers. I break occultic powers. I break the power of darkness. You will see his mercy. Brako zika yanda here. You will see his mercy. Rako logo yede brega here. Every judgment against you in the reins of the spirit, in the reins of the physical, mercy will answer it. Mercy will visit it. Mercy will answer to it. Mercy will visit it. Mercy will answer to it. Mercy will visit it. Mercy will answer to it in the name of Jesus. Number six is in the book of James chapter 2 verse 13. He said, because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful, mercy triumph over judgment. Because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful, mercy triumphs over judgment. I prophesy. By the mercies of God, every evil judgment against you comes down by fire. Mercy triumph over judgment. Every evil judgment against you today, by the mercies of God, they are cancelled. Judgment of sickness cancelled. By mercy cancelled. Judgment of oppression by the mercies of God cancelled. Judgment of failure by the mercies of God cancelled. Judgment of disappointment by the mercies of God cancelled. Judgment of affliction by the mercies of God cancelled. Judgment of setback by the mercies of God cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Number seven is in Romans chapter 9 verse 15. Number seven is in Romans chapter 9 verse 15. He said he has mercy on whom he chooses. God is the one who chooses to have mercy on whoever. That is to say everyone is qualified for mercy like the previous uh, verse we read but everyone does not receive his mercy. Everyone is qualified for his mercy. Everyone does not receive his mercy. He said, it is God who chooses who he gives mercy to. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. 
It is God who chooses the person. He will pour mercy on. I pray you are that person who will put his mercy on. I pray you are that person that will receive the mercy of God. I pray and I prophesy as you round up 2023 in grand star, in wellness and strong, in in wellness and strongness. I go yada ba here, reggae de here, well and strong. Zeke de ge yada ba here, mercy paragada ga yada ba ga yada here. We rest upon you. You'll be a child of mercy. You'll be filled with mercy. You'll be filled with mercy. You'll be filled with mercy. You'll You'll be filled with mercy. You'll be filled with mercy. You'll be filled with mercy. You'll be filled with the mercies of God in the name of Jesus. Mercy is your portion. Receive mercy. I speak on every side. Receive mercy. Barako Liga Yadabahia, receive mercy. Jesus, receive the mercies of God. I speak and I profess by the power of the Holy Ghost. Jacalaga Yadabahia, receive the mercies of God. Jekorogo Yerebrega Yerebahia, Ribarago Dizega Yerebahia, Randozogo Yerebrega Yerebahia, Ibrogozogo Yerebrega Yerebahia, Lekaraga Daga Yerebahia, receive mercy on every side. May men have mercy on you as you go to your business, your place of work, everywhere you turn, may mercy speak for you. May people have mercy on you. May mercy turn your direction. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, number 8 is in First Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Number 8 is in First Peter chapter 1 verse 3. First Peter, the 1 chapter verse 3. He said, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. He said, praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his mercy, he has given us new birth. By mercy, we got new birth. <laughs> In his mercy, you became a new person. In his mercy, he made you a new man. Today, I pray by the mercies of God, move from sin to a safe person. By the mercies of God, move from sin to righteousness. By the mercies of God, move from backwardness so forwardness by the mercies of God move from nothing to something by the mercies of God move from poverty to riches he said in his great mercy has given us new birth may you be given new birth today by the power of the Holy Ghost may you be giving you birth today in his mercy move Kayadabahia into higher heights in his mercy in his mercy go up in the name of Jesus may God by his mercy give you a new identity may God by his mercy make you a new person may God by his mercy make you a champion May God by his mercy make you rich. May God by his mercy make you wealthy. May God by his mercy make you triumphant. May God by his mercy make you victorious. In the name of Jesus. Ayago Leander Bahia, number nine, is in Second Samuel chapter 24, verse 14. Number nine is in Second Samuel chapter 24, verse 14. The Bible said, David said to God, I am in deep distress. Let us fall into the hands of the Lord, for his mercy is great. But do not let me fall into the into human hands. Better, it is better to fall into the hands of the Lord. David said to God, I am in this distress. Let us fall into the hands of the Lord. The worst thing that can ever happen to you in your place of distress is to think that God cannot rescue you. Is to think that the mercy of God cannot pull you out. The best person to go and meet, the best person to cry to, the best person to fall into his hand is the is the mess is the hand of God because that hand is full of mercy. Is the hand of God because that hand is full of mercy. No matter what you have done, call on the mercy of God. God will have mercy on you anytime, any day. But he that does not ask for mercy shall be condemned. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. I have a friend. I have a friend. Every time you speak to them, they will say, Mercy, mercy. <laughs> mercy, oh, mercy. <laughs> In other words, have mercy on me. Forgive me. Mercy, my God. I profess, sir, by the power of the Holy Ghost, may you be enveloped in mercy. 
It is better to fall into the hands of the Lord, David said, because there is mercy in his hand. His hand, he will have mercy on me. At least he will not totally destroy us. At least he will not totally scatter us. At least he will not totally punish us. But when you fall into the hand of man, man will crush you without looking back. He will show to you that you must be punished for what you did. God gave Moses the opportunity to write laws. Moses exaggerated the laws. He added close to the laws. He, he wrote his own and added to the law. That is man for you. He made it difficult for the people. That is not what God said. That is not what God wanted for the people. God wanted to make the law easy. They were ten. God gave him only ten commandments. Moses turned it to six hundred and something laws. He added close to it. He added to it. He added close to it. It became, how can they fulfill all those laws in one day? He said, you must fulfill all the law every day. You must fulfill all the law. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive mercy. My God, may you fall into the hand of mercy. May you not fall into the hands of men. May you fall into the hand of God's mercy. He said, it is better to fall into the hands of God. Second Samuel 24 verse 14. Because his hand is of great mercy. There is great mercy in his hand. Than to fall into the hands of human beings. Than to fall into the hands of man. I pray for her. May you enter the, the mercies of God. May the hand of God's mercy wrap you. May the hand of his mercy be upon you. May the hand of his mercy envelop you. May the hand of his mercy be turned around you. May the hand of his mercy be upon your life. In the name of Jesus, number uh, uh, 12. Or number uh, number ten. What number we is in number ten? Number ten or dear about number ten. Number ten is in Lamentations chapter three, verse twenty-two to twenty-three. Lamentations chapter three, verse twenty-two to twenty-three. Is there anyone lamenting for their situation? Is there anyone lamenting because they have been condemned? Is there anyone lamenting because uh, uh, they have been judged? They have been ridiculed. He said, there, yeah. he said, his mercies are new every morning. He gives mercy every morning. Every day that break, God added, add mercy to your life. He gives you opportunity to receive mercy. Why? Because every day that breaks, he pours mercy on his people. That they will not be condemned. Let me give them another opportunity to be saved. Let me give them another opportunity to be born again. Let me give them another opportunity for their sins to be forgiven. Every day that breaks, every birthday you celebrate, it is God that gives you mercy for 365 days. He said, because of his great love, we are not consumed. For his compassion never fail. They are new. His mercies never fail. They are new every morning. For his mercies never fail. They are new every morning. Great. This is faithfulness. The steadfastness. That this song came out of this verse. The steadfastness of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is your faithfulness. O oh Lord. Great is your faithfulness, the steadfastness of the Lord. The steadfastness of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh Lord, your faithfulness, great is your faithfulness. God never fails in giving mercy every morning. Every day that breaks, mercy is renewed to you. Every day that breaks, you have a new mercy on your head that you can ask for. God never fails in mercy. Man can fail, God does not fail. That's why he said, great is your faithfulness. Your mercies are new every morning. Can you here? Great is your faithfulness. Number 11 is in the book of Malachi, chapter 6, verse 8. Number 11, Malachi 6, verse 8. He said, he has sworn, he has sworn, you, O mortal, what is good? And what does the Lord require of you? To ask justly and to love mercy and walk humbly before God. You must love mercy. Mercy is one of your greatest weapons to know that you have not been condemned. Men can call you all kinds of names. Men can judge you. If men were God in this earth, they would have killed people. I was a victim of 
public ridicule some 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 uh, 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 some time ago people judged me wrongly even when God have not condemned me, even when his mercy is upon me, people have helped, people have fed, people have given all kinds of support, came out on the media, and they judged me wrongly. Why? Because they did not understand the message of God. God said, I have not condemned you. Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Mercy will speak for you. Today I'm still here. I'm standing. I'm celebrating my birthday in a few days. Why? By the mercies of God. By the mercies of God, 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 somebody call for mercy, call for mercy. Mark chapter 7, verse 18 to 19, he said, God delights to show mercy. Who is, who is a God like you who pardons sin and forgives transgressions? He said, there is no God like you that pardons sins and forgives transgressions of remnant of his inheritance. You do not stay hungry, angry. You do not stay angry forever. But delight to show mercy. You are in a hurry. You are happy. You are joyful to show mercy. I pray wherever they have condemned you, may mercy speak for you. Wherever they have condemned you, may mercy speak for you. He said, you will again have compassion, have mercy on us. You will again have mercy on us. Again and again you will have mercy. You will tread our sins under our foot and hold our iniquity in the depth of sin. Mercy will defend you. Mercy will speak for you. Mercy will lift you from the hands of your enemy. Wherever they have called you all kinds of names, by the mercies of God it is counsel. In the name of Jesus, Luke chapter 1 verse 50, number 12, as I round up, number 12, as we begin to thank God, Luke chapter 1 verse 50, Luke chapter 1 verse 50, the Bible says his mercy to those who fear him. He says his mercy extends to those who fear him. From generation to generation. God extend his message to the righteous. 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 I pray for you today. By the power in the name of Jesus. May the message of God be extended to you. May the message of God be extended to you. May the message of God be extended to you. May the message of God be extended to you. May the mercies of God be extended to you. May the mercies of God be extended to you. May the mercies of God be extended to you. May the mercies of God be extended to you, to your children. May the mercies of God be extended to your job. May He be extended to your children. May He be extended to your husband. May He be extended to your wife. May He be extended to your sisters. May He be extended to your brothers. May He be extended to all that you do. May He be extended to your document, your job. May the mercies of God be extended to everything you lay your hands to do. Wherever they have hold your documents, by the mercies of God, it shall be released. Every accusation against you, I cancel it by fire. In the name of Jesus, give God praise. 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 Mercy is God forgiving you, even when you have rebelled against him. It's mercy. Mercy. Why did he love David? David was always asking for mercy. He will always ask God for mercy. David became a man after God's own heart. The issue is not whether David committed sin or not, but the way he will plead with God, have mercy. Have mercy. I prophesy, may mercy speak for you. Wherever they are discussing your matter, they speak against you. May mercy defend you. May you have mercy. May your door continually be open. Every closed doors in your life, I cancel it. May your doors be continually be open. May the mercies of God be your portion. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, receive mercy. I declare mercy upon you on every side. I speak mercy upon you on every side. I declare mercy upon you on every side. I speak mercy upon you on every side. I declare mercy upon you on every I cancel the works of wickedness. I cancel the power of darkness. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Give God thanks. Give him praise. By the mercies of God. Give God thanks. Give him praise by divine mercy. Give God thanks, give him praise. By the mercies of God, give him thanks. By the mercies of God, give him praise. By the mercies of God, give him thanks. 
by the message of God giving praise. By the message of God upon your life, you will excel. By the message of God upon your life, you will prosper. By the message of God upon your life, you will win. By the message of God upon your life, you will stand tall. By the message of God upon your life, you will go higher and higher. By the message of God upon your life, you will defeat your enemies. In the name of Jesus, by the message of God upon your life, you will crush the wicked. In the name of Jesus, by the message of God upon your life, your enemies will submit to you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Lord, we thank Thank you for mercy. Lord, we 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 thank you for mercy. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy speak for me. Wherever my name is mentioned, let mercy speak for me. I receive the mercy of God. I receive the mercy of God. Somebody declare mercy upon your life. I receive the mercy of God. I receive mercy today. I receive the mercy of God. I receive mercy today. I receive the mercy of God. I receive mercy today. I receive the mercy of God. Let your mercy, O God. Barako logo yede branga yada baga yada bahia. Rest upon me today, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, by your mercy. Kayada branga yada bahia. I triumph. He said, "There is triumph in the mercy of God. By your mercy, I triumph." In Jesus' blessed name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. The Lord bless you. The stars are there. You want to plant a seed? You want to give an offering? Please feel free to do that. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. His hand of power, His hand of grace, His hand of glory, His hand of testimony be upon you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.